What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and we got another great video for you today. And it is simply, it's just going over the roster, and it's a roster update prediction. What's gonna go down? What you guys should do with all your investments and all that good stuff. And before I get into the video, as per usual, drop 10k in the comments. Whatever you want in the comments, we're gonna give away 10k. Video's gotta hit 50 likes, and on this video, I'm pretty confident we're gonna get really close to it, or even hit 50 likes. So all you gotta do is drop 10k in the comments, like the vid, and sub if you are new. It's that simple, guys, to enter. And let's get into it. So everybody's been liking these pre uh, preparations right before the roster update. It's about three and a half hours, three hours before the roster update. So, so I'm just gonna talk about all the investments. Let's get into it. We're gonna start off with Okuna, and you're gonna see me sell him in this video, just because I, this is what I'm thinking. So. So let's let's just think about this. So, three thir three o'clock comes three Eastern. They're dropping those three new cards: the Alomar, the Verlander, the. They're dropping a bunch of new cards: the Ernie Banks, all those cards, and Ricky Henderson. And I'm forgetting one of them, but you guys know what I'm saying. So they're gonna drop three new cards. They're dropping not three headliner packs. They're dropping four this week. So what's gonna happen? The auction is gonna simply die. It's going to die. I just, like it's gonna die so what i'm predicting is i'm gonna think that before the roster update you're gonna see the market at its peak and especially investments so i'm gonna show you okuna's at 7k earlier in the week he was at 5k he's at a little above over 7k so i'm gonna sell some of mine here i'm just gonna keep one just in case he does go diamond i'll make a little bit of stubs but yes i'm gonna be selling all my okuna's that is this is the time to sell all your stuff believe me i know what i'm talking about i've been doing this for a while let's keep going let's go matt chapman matt chapman here he is he's at 4k i'm going to be selling most of mine honestly he's probably gonna go down if he doesn't turn diamond he might go down to like 2500 so but honestly i'm gonna wait and i'm gonna wait for like an hour right before the roster update he's gonna go super high people think he's gonna go diamond so if you see this video just sell him right before the roster update believe me i'm gonna sell my cards i'll literally show it on my twitter if you don't believe me i don't care if you don't believe me but i'm going to sell all my cards that i'm showing you right now so let's get into yelich christian yelich hit another two home runs today this is thursday night this is pre-recorded i have work tomorrow i'm just letting you guys know that's why i'm not selling them now so i'm selling them right before the market crash this is pre-recorded this is what i do every every week in and on i pre-record a video for right before the market crash on what to do so christian yelich he's 53k now he was 57k earlier he's gonna go up he had another two home runs people know he's gonna go up in overall i'm pretty sure he's gonna go up in overall he's literally the best player in the league besides bellinger if not better than bellinger he's gonna go up in overall i'm gonna sell him right before as well i love christian yelich but i gotta sell him He's got to go, man. He's got to go. Let's get into some other names. We got Marcel Ozuna. He's still really cheap. And honestly, if you have him, just keep him. This is one guy who just keep, ride him out. He's going to turn diamond this year. He's a beast. The stats are all around beastly. So let's get into the next card. Who else we got? Let me think. Oh, we got Trevor Story. And I'm going to show you Alderton Simmons after Trevor Story. Trevor Story is 2,900 stubs, bro. Honestly, if you're watching this up, pick up more. Actually, no. I'm going to wait till the market crash. The market crash is the best time to pick up your gold cards. Just remember that. Chris Sale. Another good card to sell. 38k for Chris Sale. I haven't seen 38k for Chris Sale since the first week of his game. He's been sitting around 30k. He might get an up upgrade. I don't think so, though. I'm definitely going to be selling my Chris Sale, especially at 38k. That's absurd. I'll definitely be selling him right before the roster update. Let's see, what else we got? Oh, let me talk about Simmons. We're going to talk about Alderton Simmons. So this is a guy that I do not know what to do with. I'm going to sell him. I don't know. Do you guys really think he's going to go diamond again? I do not know. The way he's been hitting, I think so. I think his hitting stats definitely get upgraded. But, like, this is iffy. So his price is in the middle of diamond and gold. Literally in the middle. Gold is, like, 2K. And, like, diamond's, like, 10K. He's literally in the middle I don't know what to do with this card. I'm just going to be safe, and I'm going to sell two of them and keep one just in case. But guys, remember this. These are just predictions. This is what I'm thinking. This is how to prepare for it. Honestly, bro, it's been working every single week. All my subs know this. 
So yeah, I'm gonna sell my Aldrington Simmons. I really don't know if he's gonna go diamond. I don't think he's gonna go diamond. I don't know. I could be off. But yeah, I'm selling both of mine. I'm gonna keep one just in case. But if you have a bunch of Aldr Aldrington Simmons, I told you guys to pick them up about a week ago. It's up to you, man. I really don't know if he's gonna go diamond. It's all up to you on this card. This card's the only iffy one I could really talk about. I really think it's iffy. Let's get on to Chris Bryant, okay? Chris Bryant is looking like he's gonna get upgraded. His price has been up all week. He's been up about 10K. He was like 18, 16, 20K this whole week. I think he's gonna get upgraded. I will be selling him right before the crash. I'm telling you guys, what you wanna do is all your investments, simply just sell them before the crash. That's literally how you make stubs. I do it every week in I do it every single week. Just think about it. You know how many packs kids are going to be pulling? You know how many diamonds are going to be pulled? You know how many golds are going to be pulled? Friday's the biggest day on this game. They only drop content once a week. You really don't think everybody's going to be on the game on Friday? For all we know, the servers might crash. So, these aren't really like predictions. Like these are kind of guaranteed. It, like all my videos, they just I just know what I'm talking about. I, I'm serious. If you don't believe me, you can just look at my past videos. I, sh I literally have an aftermath of the market crash every single time. I know what I'm talking about. I make 60K stubs every week, minimum. So, I'm sorry for that rant, but I'm just I'm just saying, man. Let's go. Chris Bryant, he's at 26K. I will be selling him as well. He might go up to 30. We will see. Especially as the day goes on on Friday, Friday like 12, 1, you'll start, you'll see like players jump in price like out of nowhere because like maybe rumors or something. But I don't know. You'll see a lot of cards jumping in price. And that is the time to sell if you see him jumping in price. And for instance, Cody Bellinger before he was diamond, he was around 17 to 18K. When he turned diamond, he dropped 6K stubs. That's why I'm selling him before the market crash. Because even if he turns diamond, you're going to lose stubs. That's why I'm saying Aldrington Simmons is iffy because he's 5K. He's in the middle, which is so iffy. I don't know what to do about that. I just find that iffy. That's the only car I'm iffy about once again. We're going to the next card. We got Javier Baez, another great player this month. Right now, this is one of the cards, honestly. Okay, this is a little scary, but this is a Thursday night. You're not going to see this because it's pre-recorded, but I picked up another one of him. I uh, 34k is too cheap but what i'm gonna do is he's gonna crash and he's probably gonna be even cheaper so if you're watching this before the update he he's probably gonna have an inside edge up number one number two if, if his edge goes up he's gonna rise in price so if you have bias sell him before the auction crashes when the auction crashes he might go down to 30 maybe even 28k with all those new cards dropping this is probably the biggest content we got this year what do we have? Three new 99s? So yeah, you guys have to prepare, man. This is I'm preparing you guys for this role. There's perfect. I'm preparing you guys for this. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. We're gonna talk about Trevor Bauer, man. Trevor Bauer got lit up today. Seven earned runs. I'm still investing him, bro. I don't see him going down in overall. It's upsetting, but we'll see how it goes. I think 1500 stuffs for Bauer is still too cheap. I really think he's going to go diamond, even though he got lit up. It, you know what? He, he did bad, but the start before that, he had no earned runs. So you can't judge the man. Some people, some pitchers have bad days. Right now, with Merrifield, okay, 1K, you still can't go wrong. There's no way, in my opinion. How can he not get an upgrade? I don't know. If he doesn't get an upgrade, I'm going to be upset because he's been un unbelievable. If you just, just go look at his stats, I know what I'm talking about. He has been unbelievable. He deserves an upgrade. We're going to talk about Mr. George Springer. And guys, the whole world's talking about this man right now. He is unbelievable. 4,600 stubs. He's also in the middle. My What I think is going to go down, I think he's going to go up to an 84. And I do not think his price will jump, honestly. If you have him, I would... Uh, this is also one of the iffy cards. I'm just going to keep mine and see what goes down. He's only 4K. He's going to go diamond this year if he doesn't get hurt. Just keep him. We'll see how it goes. Honestly, he's a little iffy, but yeah, whatever. Just keep him, honestly. And we're going to get into Blackman. Charlie Blackman. Let's see. His price still has not went up. This is just disrespect to the man. I'm picking up more, man. I really, 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 really 
Should I say really again? Really? Charlie Blackman is going to be a dime this year. The way he's hitting the ball, first of all, to give him 58 power versus lefties and 73 versus power versus righties, and that shitty of a fielding, it's just unbelievable. He's playing his eyes out. He's playing his heart out, bro. He's literally rank one over the last 14 days. He's so he's going to be an all-star. He's been unbelievable over the last five years. They're disrespecting him with an 80 overall, in my opinion. I'm not even a Rockies fan. He's just amazing. He's just an amazing, amazing, amazing player. So if you have, if you just watching this, just go pick him up. He's 1K. He's quick sell value. You cannot lose stubs on this guy. If this guy gets downgraded, I will quit this game. There's no way he gets downgraded after the way he's playing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do not understand what I'm saying, and also before I did, Kirby Yates, a great pickup, 1200 stubs. Pick him up as well. Okay. If you guys understand what I'm saying, you're going to see. Okay, but actually, no, I'm sorry. If you have, you're going to see your bronzes and silvers, all the guys you invested in, just sell them before the roster update, besides the Springer and the Blackman, like I said, and the Baez, that was iffy, and the Simmons, that was iffy. Everybody else, you're going to see your bronzes, your silvers. They're going to be peaked. They're going to be at their highest price right before the roster update when the market crashes. Just believe me. I'm telling you right now. You're going to see it. I've been watching every week. I sold, I said I was going to sell Dozier, right? Let's see how much Dozier is. Dozier's still doing good. He's still doing good. Hunter Dozier's at 167. You might see him at 200 stubs tomorrow. If you see him at 200 stubs, sell all your Dozier's. When the market crashes, he will go straight down to 100 stubs. It happened last week. You can make like 5k stubs easy if you buy 50 or whatever. But yeah, it's not hard. Believe me guys, I know what I'm talking about. Just please listen to me. If you guys enjoyed the video, just drop a like, sub if you're new. And make sure to drop 10k in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good one. Team Bug's been killing it. The support has been unreal. We're about to hit 600 subs. And guys, I hope you have a good one. Enjoy this video and peace! Hey, yo,